The firefighters union is concerned after a Honolulu fire truck caught on fire on the freeway. We were the first to tell you about this on Friday night as breaking news. We've learned the fire truck known as Tower 40 was built in 2002. KITV 4 Cynthia Yip follows up. The president of the Firefighters Association says aging fire trucks are a major concern for those fighting on the front lines. Fire trucks is actually the, the biggest deal that we have as a union because that is our largest piece of equipment and that that fire truck determines the safety of not just the crew, but uh, how efficient and effective we can be at a fire scene. There's nothing more important than the fire truck. Lee says mechanics were working on the truck and were driving it on the H2 freeway Friday night when the driver realized the truck caught fire. The driver was able to put out the fire and investigators are now working to determine exactly how the fire started. The Honolulu Fire Department says it has a robust apparatus replacement program that is constantly monitored and evaluated to ensure the HFD's operational needs are achieved and a high level of service is provided to the community. HFD says of the 67 fire units island-wide, 62 percent have been replaced in the last 12 years. Plus, HFD says its fire trucks have a lifespan of up to 20 years and the average age of the HFD HFD units or trucks is eight years. Reporting from Kaka'ako, Cynthia Yip, CAT TV4 Island News.